Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Flamer James and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, why don't start playing up already? Um, today we are going to take on Big Bird the Meadow. Now this time I'm going to make sure my recording software is working properly. Recording sound, it looks like it. Right. I, I'm just... Why didn't I bring my horse up? It was right in front of me. Why didn't... Come here, please. Come on. What, what are you doing? The, the, the bridge is this way. The, what? Uh, okay, you got it? You got it? Come on. Uh, what? Are you... Oh my god, really? You know what? I'm gonna help you just push past him, alright? There you go. Oh, see that? You can come! Yeah, that was my fault. Oh dear! Squirrel! Oh, what the hell was that? Is that an invisible wall? No, nah, okay. It was just my horse being all weird. I, I was waiting for it. Wait, where's, where's that cutscene? Where it's like, ah, the big fucking bird. I can say that. Yeah, I can. You gotta touch the bridge. Okay, you gotta touch the bridge. That is the weirdest freaking thing I've ever heard of. Apparently, throwing a horse, it just doesn't matter. Oh, out of all the Divine Beast cutscenes, this one gives me the chills. The others are sort of like, eh. I mean, um... What's it? Uh, Noboris? That cutscene? That's pretty cool. The one with it, like, making that camel noise and stomping through the sand. That's cool. Rito Village! How many spirit orbs do I have? Seven. I shall do that later. Right? Right? Come on. And I've been re-watching my videos lately and apparently I like hide my mouth over my mic. I, I don't mean to. So I'm going to try and sit up as tall as I possibly can. What? There we go. But yeah, I'm going to sit up as tall as I possibly can. Keep my mouth above my mic. That way you guys can see when I'm like, or something. I don't know. Did I pass the clothes shop? I did, didn't I? Did I? I did. God. Freaking. Ah. All right. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to do the shrine. All I'm going to do is that. That way I can teleport to it anytime I want. And yeah, I was, I was, I might quickly go down to the clothes shop. I wasn't, I didn't mean to go past it. Clothes shop, clothes shop, clothes shop. Is that it? No, that's not it. Is that it? Hello, my guy. Hey. Uh, looking to sell. I shall sell you uh, five of these. No, not all of them. 
Like I said, I should sell you. No, I'll sell you four. <laughs> really? Is that what we're going with? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll sell all these. And I will sell one of them. And I'll see what that does. Now that's the most expensive one. A thousand? A thousand! I didn't think it was that much. I thought it was like 900. Thanks a, did you just say thanks a Talon? That's actually kind of funny. 600 rupees. Oh, thanks a ton. How much is this? 550. Alright, I'm going to have to make some sacrifices. Like that. No, I, I need at least one. Ah! I'm only missing 100. Um, I don't... I don't use these, but I'll keep... I think I keep... F I'll keep four. Ah, oh, that did not give me as much as I thought it would. Tell... I've got to learn to read, I swear to God. Ah, sorry, my guy, that's... Uh, I'll give you that. Yeah, look, that's... That's probably as much as I'm going to give you. Um... Yeah, I, I need everything else. I'm sorry. F was it 500 or 550? 550. Well. I can wear this. And, oh god, I look, I look ridiculous. I'm not going to be climbing anytime soon, eh? I'll just wear that. There we go. Well, that's going to keep me warm. Got an itchy nose, god damn it. Alright, I need to get my ass into gear. Today is the day we take on the beast. Oh, visitor. Uh, that object on it here. Could it be? Forgive me where my men is. I am Kennelly, elder of the Rito. Uh, is that a Sheikah Slate? Yes, it is. Oh my, so it is true. Champion. Uh, forgive me. Champion descendant. If you would listen to this old man's request, I'll listen. Thank you truly. Now that I know that you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you. How should I put this? I would like you to deal with the divine beast of our meadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen champion, only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and beyond it to your will. Um, I tried explaining this to more headstrong reader warriors, but they won't listen to reason. I'm, I'm reading the words, but my mouth is just like. Um, Tiba and Hearth tried to control the meadow, but it did not go well, and Hearth was injured. Of course, Tiba escaped un 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 unscathed, but I feared that. But I think, oh really, he's going to face Meadow alone. As a champion, as a descendant of a champion, perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. Teba, uh, if you work together, you might be able to stop Divine Desire Meadow. And then I'm pretty sure I speak to... My phone is fucking ringing! Later. I suppose it was only natural for my phone to ring. No one hasn't, no one's called me since episode four. Uh, forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Eldar. It sounds like that you intend to go help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell you the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where'd he go? Well, my husband went to a place called the Flight Range. Telling me where it is. I know where it is. I'll put this under the desk so you don't hear the clicking as much. If you talk to the Revival's... <laughs> If you take off from Ravala's landing, it's a straight shot down to the Fright Lange. Ravala's landing is a memorial for the memor memorial for the Rudo champion Ravali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar 
It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I have been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong? Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Descendant! Are you alright? Alright, I'm, I'm all good. Trust me, I'm all good. I just, I remembered an asshole. Where are we going? That way. Yeah, it's down that way. Yes, okay, so I'm not doing the shrines. If I've got enough time at the end of the video, at the end of uh, Var Meadow, I'll, I'll go back and do the shrines that I've missed. Like in parts, I think it was part 10 or 11? No, it was part 11. I went to a few shrines and I didn't do them. Oh, part 11 was a freaking... That was a challenge and a half. What? I didn't know I could trigger the cutscene from there. Yeah? I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Oh, it puts me back here. All right. Well, just before... Hang on a minute. I'll take them. Thank you very much. Hey, wait. Ah! Ah, come on. Oh, there we go. That's all I wanted. So I'm gonna just go through this. Um, he's asking who I am or who do I think I am? Why am I here? To take back Var Va Meadow. I'm ready. Ah, uh, I need a. I need. I need a. Uh, uh, let's take that one. Now you get three minutes just to hit, like, five targets. I did it. Ah, uh, so you're a skilled archer. Um, I've seen a few. Ah, don't be modest. Uh, take some of these. Oh, it's a bow, that's right. And then he gives me the bomb arrows. Thank you. Um, I'm ready. 
Um, I can't just watch. It's the safest option. If you say uh, to save Zelda, he goes, "Oh, I thought he, I thought she died a hundred years ago." And then if you say to save Rito Village, he goes, "Oh, but you're not a Rito, so why do you care?" Uh, if you say just because, then he goes, "Well, you got to give a reason." But if you say I can't watch, he goes, "Fair enough. Neither can I." Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You just can't sit down and watch innocent people be t terrorized. Then imagine how I feel as a proud Rito warrior. See, that's fair enough. That's the option I always give him. Here we go. All right, it's showtime. Man, even I'm going to freeze up here. The Vine Beast Wild Meadow. It is a barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk. Let's go over the plan. I gotta use my bomb arrows to shoot those cannons. Let's go! Here we go. Be careful. Don't tell me what to do. I'm Link. I have survived many encounters with Ganon. <laughs> oh, okay. Just while my uh, game processes the new shaders and the graphics and stuff, it might freeze from time to time. We just might have guessed if you've seen the other episodes and God, this part takes forever. Just flying to each cannon. I think there's like two more. Yeah, there's one in each. Tiba does nothing besides fly around. Unlike Riju, Riju actually helps you. Oh no, now he's doing something. Sidon, he does something as well. He like he carries you through the water. Uh, and Yunobo, what does he do besides be annoying? <laughs> now he he gets he gets inside the cannons, and he fires and you fire him towards Redania. We did it. Stealth tip. Thank you for the tip. Pretty sure you learned that in the first 20 minutes of starting the game, but thank you.
Well now, I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I believe I can. I'll try and get this area done quickly because it's taken me 20 minutes just to get inside Meadow. Yay, I can now control the Divine Beast. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. So I wonder, how many... Um... Sheikah Slates are there? Like... Oh, I was, I was thinking about it, and... If you, if you think about it as well, maybe not as much as I did, but... If, uh, every Divine Beast needs a... Seeker Slate to run their Divine Beast. remaining. Still a ways to go. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. You lack confidence in me, Ravali. You lack serious confidence. Maybe you should be less of a prick and more of a helpful ghost. Just one terminal remaining. 
to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, flap to it. thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. He defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. <laughs> I can't believe she's saying this. You must avenge me, Link. Aim is dead on. Watch yourself. My aim is dead on. As I miss my second shot. Ah! That hit me? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've got to be careful. Oh, bye. There it is. Come on, one more hit. I knew you were going to do that. It's not the first time you've done that to me. Easy.
Wow, that looks so good. Let's rock the Nintendo shirt. Yes. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Chasm. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. All oh, right. Okay. Have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. There we have it. Ravali's Gale. Well, there we have it. We did uh, Var Meadow. 
Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I'll call it there because it's been 41 minutes. I'm going to try and trim that down as much as I can. Um, you know, speed... I won't cut anything out, but I'll just speed up whatever footage I, well, I need to speed up. But um, anyway, until next time, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Catch ya. Like a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. I'm marching till it's over.